keratoconus management varies from cross linking to intact and then lamellar keratoplasty so here present you a patient with a cylinder of almost minus 8 so if you see here these are the femto settings we plan to do intact at the depth of 380 microns it is intact sk model is 0.45 and this is the software screen of the femto z6 so the patient is taken speculum is applied topical paracane drops and then the furnaces are derived so that there is no suction loss the femto head is then applied and the settings are then tuned and applied onto the patient just few seconds and the tunnels are ready now the trick is the tunnel opening is opened up with this instrument there's a specialized Y manipulator and the trick is that you have to go in the right depth otherwise a false track can be created so you have to go first vertically and then negotiate horizontally the intex SK a drop of Vigamox is added Merosil sponge is used to dry otherwise while holding this can slip the intex is held and the direction it's almost in the center very carefully these are specially designed forceps undue force should not be used it should go in the right track no false track opening should be made and gently it has to be glided along the direction of the tunnel gently push no undue pressure has to be applied otherwise there can be chances of perforation into the interior chamber the other slide is opened up and the same manner a drop of preservative free moxifloxacin is applied it's merosil dried and then gently it is pushed sometimes a second instrument can be used to simply guide and push this into the ring into the tunnel I usually apply a tenoproline on the entry point to equidistribute the vectorial forces this suture can be removed after three days to seven days we usually apply a bandage contact lens on top a drop of antibiotic is then placed and the patient can be sent open so these are the difference maps day one and one month thank you